Meanwhile, protests have taken place against the Mexican government for leaking information uh, on the murders and the victims. Pro uh, protesters accused the government of uh, revictimizing those killed. Our correspondent Clayton Kahn now with those details. Human rights organizations and media workers' rights groups are demanding that Mexico City authorities refrain from their continued leaks of information in the case of the multiple homicide of five. The four women, including the activist Nadia Vera and one male, the photojournalist Ruben Espinosa, arguing that it re-victimizes or in some instances criminalizes the victims. Now, Mexico City's Human Rights uh, Commission is filing a formal complaint against the city's prosecutor's office for leaking information about the victims that was unconstitutional clear or unprecise that has led uh, some media outlets to reproduce speculation and even character assassination of the victims. In the first days of the investigation, information was circulated uh, that the victims were holding an all-night party or that they had even spent several hours uh, with the three suspects pointing to motives of personal issues or robbery. However, all of that information has been disqualified. Now, it is also important to underscore uh, that the authorities have detained 41 years Old Daniel Gutierrez, an ex convict who the authorities claim has admitted participation in the events that led to the multiple homicide. Now, investigators say fingerprints found at the crime scene led to his identification and arrest. Yet Gutierrez affirms that he did not commit the murders, uh, and the authorities say they are still looking for two other suspects. This is Clayton Conn reporting for Telesur here in Mexico City.